A recent study has shown that nearly half of China's major cities are suffering moderate to severe levels of subsidence, putting millions of people at risk of flooding, especially as sea levels rise. 중국 주요 도시의 거의 절반이 보통 내지 심각한 수준의 집안 침하를 겪고 있다는 연구 결과가 나왔습니다. 이는 특히 해수면 상승 문제가 겹치면서 수백만 명의 홍수 피해를 불러올 것으로 우려됩니다. <웃음> Subsidence. Yeah. So uh, an appropriate uh, story for Earth Day, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Um, so to subside means to sink or fall to the bottom. Um, it could also mean to be quiet or yeah. become less of something. But here, the noun form of subsidence means the gradual caving in or sinking of an area of land. And mm. it's pronounced subsidence. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think uh, you can maybe say uh, subsidence, subsidence? Or, okay. as well. But I think subsidence, as you said, that is the more, more common way mm -hmm. of saying this word. Chima. 침강이라는 뜻이에요. 물론 뭔가 이렇게 잠잠해졌을 때도 subside 한다라고 yeah. 하지만 네, 여기서는 이제 집안의 침하를 말하고 있습니다. Right. So this study uh, conducted in China found that 45% of China's urban land is sinking faster than 3 mm per year, which doesn't sound like a lot uh, on the surface, but uh, if you look at it more than 16% uh, of urban land is sinking at more than 10 milli millimeters per year. So it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but mm. the effects of it are already affecting human populations. Uh, in fact, last year, 3,000 residents had to be evacuated uh, in the northern city of Tianjin. Wow. Um, they're being displaced, basically, because of water depletion, as well as the construction of geothermal wells. So if mm. you think that these stories of uh, sea levels rising and uh, land subsiding, it's happening right now and it people is. are being affected. Yeah, one prediction model says that in the next 100 years, if mm -hmm. it keeps going at this rate, one quarter of the land in China will have vanished, it will be underwater. You know, another reason for this is the building of urban, urban environments mm. with buildings uh, and just the sheer weight of uh, structures and infrastructure actually affect the, the, the land underneath it. Mm. And the fact that uh, most urban populations are close to either oceans or rivers, right. it, this is even more troubling. Yeah, if you think of Shanghai, for example, mm -hmm. right next to the ocean there. If you put someone at risk, yep. uh, that means they're in danger. Yeah, you're, you're exposing them to either harm or danger. Yes, put someone at risk. Mm -hmm. 누구를 위험에 처하게 하다, 이런 표현입니다. Here's the headline again. A recent study has shown that nearly half of China's major cities are suffering moderate to severe levels of subsidence, putting millions of people at risk of flooding, especially as sea levels rise. Let's move on to the next headline. The United States is expected to see billions of cicadas surfacing this spring as two different broods, one that appears every 13 years and another every 17 years, will emerge simultaneously, a rare phenomenon that won't happen again until 2245. <laughs> 학계는 이것이 향후 2245년까지는 다시 일어나지 않을 희귀한 현상이라고 밝혔습니다. Yeah, a lot of rare natural phenomena happening in the US. We yeah. had the eclipse oh, yeah. uh, recently, but now we have what the US media is dubbing as either cicada, po cop cicada apocalypse, yeah. excuse me, or cicada geden as uh, in Armageddon. Armageddon. Yes. Mm. So there's this big brouhaha wow. happening uh, because of this potential uh, infestation of cicadas. Right. These are portmanteaus when you have two words, yes. you put them together. It's not really a word, but people will understand what it means. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I think the US media may be going a little uh, overboard, a little sensational <laughs> with these uh, with these terms, but, uh, but it is a rare occurrence yeah. because you have, uh, in addition to the annual cicadas, mm. um, these are two broods that happen, one group happens in 13 years and another in 17 years, and mm. these combined uh, they're saying billions, if not a quadrillion cicadas being released into the wild. Wow. I thought Korea had a lot of cicadas, but there's nothing compared to what we're looking at here. So just the just the noise pollution from cicadas, you know, they don't harm humans. They're, they're not mm. harmful to humans, but I think the noise pollution could, could cause a nuisance. And, yeah. um, 
you know, I'm used to it here in Korea. It just means that it's summertime, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. 그래요. 매미 뭐 우리는 익숙하기는 한데 여름에. 근데 미국에서 지금 13년 만에 또 17년 만에 나타나는 그런 매미들이 올 봄에는 동시에 다 출현을 하기 때문에 그래서 이게 굉장히 희귀한 현상이기도 하고 또 이걸 굉장히 드라마틱하게 또 신문에서 보도하기도 했네요. 스케이다 컵 퍼클립스, 뭐 스케이다 게든, 아마 게든 이런 식으로 단어를 제가 지금 제대로 발음을 안 했지만. Yeah, they're not real words, no. obviously. So, yeah. <웃음> uh, they're going to surface. Yeah, so with these cicadas, what happens is that uh, they, um, they spend two to five years underground yeah. uh, and then they emerge. to the surface, uh, meaning that they come to mm-hmm. the surface or the exterior or the upper boundary. Uh, here we're talking about the earth or mm-hmm. the land. Exactly. Because these insects, they're very short-lived, aren't yes. they? They only live for a couple of days, as yeah, you said. Yeah, their know. lifespans. And their lifespans are very, very short. 그래요. Surface라는 동사입니다. 떠오르다 라는 뜻이 되겠고요. 그러니까 숨어 지내다가 땅 속에 있다가 이제 모습을 드러내는 거죠. 예. 출현하는 것을 말하고 To broods. Mm-hmm. A brood is, in taxonomic terms, mm-hmm. uh, basically the young of an animal mm-hmm. or a family of young. Uh, right. It's not used as often as offspring, mm-hmm. perhaps, or the litter of an animal, but the brood is more of a scientific term to describe the young of an animal. 그렇죠. 이렇게 매미를 분류하는 데 있어서 이 brood라는 것은 다른 종류라고 mm-hmm. 볼수 있겠습니다. 다시 읽어볼게요. The United States is expected to see billions of cicadas surfacing this spring as two different broods, one that appears every 13 years and another every 17 years, will emerge simultaneously, a rare phenomenon that won't happen again until 2,245. Scientists have recovered fossil vertebrae in western India that belong to one of the largest snakes that ever existed, estimated at up to 15 meters in length, longer than a T-Rex. 인도 서부에서 지금까지 존재했던 뱀중 가장 큰 종류의 척추뼈 화석이 발견됐습니다. 이 뱀의 길이는 공룡 티라노사우루스보다 긴 15m에 이르는 것으로 추정됐습니다. Mm-hmm. Tell us more. Scary stuff. So yeah. scientists uh, recovered precisely 27 vertebrae mm. from this, uh, what they think is a snake. Um, so they don't have the entire fossil uh, right. of this uh, of this uh, animal. Mm. And they believed it was a part of the python family and would not have been venomous, so not harmful to humans. If humans existed at this time, I'm not sure. Um, but it was, like I said, discovered in the western state of Gujarat, mm. and it's incomplete. But yeah. they're estimating this to have been 11 to 15 meters in length, almost a ton mm. in weight. So if you imagine, um, I imagine it, a basketball rim is three meters high, 10 right. feet. So if it's five times longer than that. Wow. This is an enormous snake. Mm. Um, and they're actually saying, uh, like in the headline, that it happened after, or about longer than a T-Rex, which is thought to be the longest, or the biggest dinosaur uh, that existed. 네, 이게 어, 거의 뭐 5천만 년 전, 한 4,700만 년 전에 그런 뱀이었다고 하고요. 한 15m 정도에 이르렀을 것이다. 그런데 이번에 이제 다만, 그 머리뼈는 찾지 못했다고 해요. No skull, 그래서, yeah. 예, 완벽하지는 않지만 그래도 이제 척추 뼈가 그 화석이 많이 발견이 됐습니다. 아, 무게만 해도 뭐한 1톤 ton, 정도가 yeah. 됐을 것이다 이런 얘기도 mm-hmm. 하셨고 fossil vertebrae라는 표현을 한번 볼까요? What does this mean? Yeah, if we break this down, a fossil, of course, is a remnant or a trace of an organism from a past geologic age. Here, mm. uh, this snake was thought to have lived during the Cenozoic. era. And vertebra mm. is a singular term. Vertebrae is the plural. A vertebra is a series of small bones that form the backbone. Right. Um, like you and I, we're all vertebrae. Mm. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, fossil이 화석이죠. Vertebrae는 척추뼈를 여기서 말하고 있습니다. And it totaled, we think, about 15 meters in length. In length. Uh, it's the distance or the duration or extent of time. Yeah. It's a measured distance here. And we said uh, it's thought to have been 15 meters in length. Mm. If it was 15 meters in width, then it would be very 
wide. It would be a very fat or overweight <laughs> snake. snake. Yeah. 그래요. 넓이가 어떻다라고 만약에 말하고 싶으면 in width, w i d t h. Uh-huh. 길이가 어떻다라고 하고 싶으면 in length를 right. 뒤에 붙이는 겁니다. It's the longer side of a dimension. 그럼요. Right? Mm-hmm. 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. Scientists have recovered fossil vertebrae in western India that belonged to one of the largest snakes that ever existed, estimated at up to 15 meters in length, longer than a T-Rex. And that's it for the headlines.